All right, simple interest, we're going to do example one. And uh, this time Ben has invested $20,000. So this is an investment, not a loan. And he receives a simple interest rate of 8% per annum. Question A says, how much interest will he receive after three years and six months? So let's look at all our uh, pronumerals that we use here. So we've got I, P, R, and N. So P is our principal, or the amount of money you borrow or invest. So in this case, it's 20 grand. R is your interest rate, which is 8%. But we need to go 8 divided by 100, or 0 0.08. It's very important that you use the decimal version of this. And N is the number of time periods. Now in this case, it's years. It's not always in years. Sometimes it's months or weeks. And the difficulty is it's three years and six months, and I'm hoping you realize that's the same as just saying 3.5 years. All right, so we're going to take our formula I equals PRN, which remember means that there's multiplication between each pronumeral. So P is 20 grand times R 0 0.08 times N 3.5. Let's see what we get. 20 grand times 0.08 times 3.5. And that comes out to $5,600. So if he invests 20 grand after three years and six months, he should make $5,600 in interest. That, that sounds like a really good interest um, to earn. All right. Now question B is going on. It says, well, what will his investment be worth after this time and all you've got to do is just use a bit of common sense and go all right well if he's invested 20 grand and he's also made another five thousand six hundred dollars then altogether his investment is worth twenty five thousand six hundred dollars so we just add the two two amounts together 